We're doing a one bowl chocolate buttermilk loaf cake and the ingredients is granola oil, flour, sugar, cocoa powder, along with baking soda, salt, buttermilk, and vanilla flavoring. So let's get into the video and make this here and don't forget your metal loaf pan. It must be metal or silicone. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is put some um, um, canola oil in our pan and we're just going to grease it up real good. So if you're going to try to use a um, glass baking pan with this, I'm, I'm telling you it, it won't work because it will make your chocolate bitter and it will have a nasty taste to it. So either use a um, metal loaf pan or a silicone pan. So now what we're going to do is we're putting the flour into the bowl all right and we're putting the sugar basically we're adding all of the dry ingredients to this that's all we're doing right now adding all of the dry ingredients and this is a easy recipe and as you can see the ingredients does not call for eggs think about it we're making a chocolate buttermilk loaf cake with no eggs so after we put in all of our ingredients the next thing we're going to do is just take us a whisk and try to blend in everything, try to mix everything together. All right, once we have everything mixed together, this is pretty much how it should come out. All right, so you would have a nice little cocoa powder texture looking um, mix. Then we're gonna start adding into this mix all of our wet ingredients. So we're adding the buttermilk along with the canola oil and some vanilla flavor. All right. And then once we have that, we want to go ahead and give this a stir. We do not want to use a blender on this here mix. Take a wooden spatula or a regular spatula, rubber spatula, and just um, try to mix it up pretty well with that only. Do not use a power mixer on this batter. All right. So it's going to come out looking almost like brownie mix. That's the texture that you want. Then you know you'll be ready for it. After that step, we're gonna go ahead and put this inside of the flour loaf pan. This is how it looks once you get into the loaf pan. Only thing we wanna do is smooth the top out. That's all we want to do, smooth the top out. After that's done, the next step is to put it into the oven. All right, remember now, I'm gonna give y'all the ingredients below, and you could also go to my Facebook, um, page is called Ray Max Kitchen and Grill and there you'll find the ingredients also this is how it looks once it turns out and I'm going to tell you something this loaf was excellent I mean it was moist even though we didn't put eggs inside of this it came out perfect it had a nice taste to it if you have yourself some milk on on hand or on the side I'm guaranteeing you you will like this here loaf another thing that you could do you could make your chocolate topping to go with this and it'll be perfect with this here loaf. I just want to take the time out to thank you all for checking out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. The thing I would like for you guys to do is hit that subscribe button. If you like all my video contents and I would love for you all to be a part of my YouTube family, just hit the subscribe button. And I will try my best to get up more videos in the future, but I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna do my best y'all. And um, another thing I need you to do like the video and if you can share the video i would greatly appreciate it this is ray mac from ray mac's kitchens and grill i always preach the words and i love it when i say it love and not hate i really mean this we're one big happy family i say peace and may god bless hey what's up this is ray mac from Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. 
I want to say thank you so much for watching and tuning in to this here video. If you like the content that you've seen, please give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment. I like to hear your feedback. And what's most important is that you hit that subscribe button. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos coming in the up and coming future. Once again, I say that at the end of my videos, love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Peace.